Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. Question 94. You have a Microsoft Power BI semantic model that contains measures. The measures use multiple calculate functions and a filter function. You are evaluating the performance of the measures. In which use case will replacing the filter function with the keep filters function reduce execution time? A. When the filter function uses a nested calculate function. B. When the filter function references a measure. C. When the filter function references columns from multiple tables. D. When the filter function references a column from a single table that uses import mode. Pause the video and give it a think and check the answer. The correct answer is D. When the filter function references a column from a single table that uses import mode. This is because using keep filters optimizes measure definitions by employing Boolean expressions rather than table expressions. Import mode, where data is preloaded into memory, benefits significantly from this setup by reducing execution times. Keep filters ensures that any existing filters on the column are preserved, enhancing the performance of the query. If you see the documentation says, this article is especially relevant for model calculations that apply filters to import tables. And if you see in this example, it says, the calculate function accepts a table expression returned by the filter DAX function, which evaluates its filter expression for each row of the product table. It achieves the correct result, the sales result for red products. However, it could be achieved much more efficiently by using a Boolean expression. Here's an improved measure definition, which uses a Boolean expression instead of the table expression. The keep filters DAX function ensures any existing filters applied to the color column are preserved and not overwritten. It's recommended you pass filter arguments as Boolean expressions whenever possible. It's because import model tables are in-memory column stores. They are explicitly optimized to efficiently filter columns in this way. Why other options are incorrect? A. When the filter function uses a nested calculate function. Using keep filters in this scenario doesn't inherently improve performance. The complexity of nested calculations is not mitigated by keep filters. Thus, it is incorrect option. B. When the filter function references a measure. Keep filters is designed to handle filter contexts on columns, not measures, so it won't reduce execution time in this case. So this is also an incorrect option. C. When the filter function references columns from multiple tables, keep filters is typically more effective on single table filters. Multi table references may not benefit as much and could even complicate the filter context. Therefore, this is also an incorrect option. See you with another question. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more videos.